In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your sandpaper last just a little bit longer. And we're going to do it right now. So on my travels through the internet, I came across this little beauty right here. This is a Powertech abrasive cleaning stick. And basically what it does is when you get sandpaper, this is a belt sander, and you have your sandpaper and it gets all gunked up with stuff. Uh, you basically throw away the sandpaper and use another piece. Uh, but sandpaper can get expensive after a while if you're sanding a lot of stuff. Um, and this is good for cleaning all of that stuff that gets gunked up on the paper. So I'm going to see if it works. So first, I'm going to take this thing and uh, I'm going to try and gunk up the sanding belt. <laughs> Always wear a dust mask when you're sanding. All right, that looks pretty good. Pretty gunked up. Now when your sandpaper gets to looking like this, basically it can't do its job. It's covering all the, uh, the grit. So this is 80 grit sandpaper, by the way. And what ends up happening is it, it, it ends up acting like 220 or something like that and you know very uneven and everything and how I used to clean this was I would take the sandpaper and the sander and hold it at an angle and run it this way and it would get most of this off but it wouldn't get everything it wouldn't get down into the crevices and that would also take some of the grit off so with this thing this is rubber, and this will kind of get into all those grooves and clean all this out. So you won't lose your grit, and you'll have a like new uh, sandpaper surface. So I'm going to set this sander up and see what this thing can do. Okay, so the sander is set up here. By the way, if you wanted to basically make your belt sander a bench sander, you uh, can put a couple screws all the way around. Hold it in place and then it's got the the button that you can hold down right here and it holds the trigger down and it just goes on its own uh, I want to read these instructions to you before I do this it's always good to read instructions hold the cleaner firmly against moving belt or disc until all loaded particles have been removed abrasive belt or disc should be running at its normal operating speed and then it says no need to remove wrapper, the plastic wrapper here. If it said do not remove wrapper, I wouldn't, but I'm a rebel, so I'm going to remove the plastic wrapper. There we go. All right, here we go. The belt is going to spin this way, so I'm going to hold this the opposite way and let it run against this thing and hopefully clear this right off. All right, that got a majority of it. Uh, there's still some stuff in here, so what I'm going to do is just Quickly flip the belt. Let's see if I can get the rest of it. Here we go. Well, I gotta say that works pretty good. You can see the belt is pretty clean. Uh, I mean, the only hassle was flipping the belt, and that wasn't really a hassle. Just to go the other way so it could get into every crevice. And then, you know, if you have stuff left over, I guess you could do something like that. But it really does make a difference. That's like a like-new belt right there. And it works the same way if you have a palm sander or something like this. Uh, you just turn it on and kind of hold this against it. 
So that was one belt cleaning, and you can see there's plenty of material left here. I think this was about 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in buying it. I mean, $10 with this much material gone compared to just getting rid of that piece of sandpaper and putting a new one on and kind of, you know, letting it go to waste, I think is a good deal. So, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm happy with my purchase. So I hope this video helps you prolong the life of your sandpaper and save you some money. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you can check out my other videos here and here-ish if you're interested. And as always, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.